Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Isaiah chapter 11 verse 10 as well as Psalms 29 verse 8. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Father God for another chance to dig into your word to gain understanding and wisdom or God. Show us the way. Show us what you would have us know, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, let's get started. This is Isaiah chapter 11, verse 10. In that day, the root of Jesse, who shall stand as a signal for the peoples, of him shall the nations inquire, and his resting place shall be glorious. All right, so it says, in that day, the root of Jesse, so... Um, that in that day is talking about um the thousand year reign. This this whole chapter is talking prophesying the um thousand year reign of Christ. And it says, and the root of Jesse, whenever you see that, that is talking about Jesus. Um, he meaning he is a root of Jesse, he is um a branch, he's a he comes from um Jesse, which Jesse is David's father. And so it says, who shall stand as a signal for the peoples? So that stand as a signal is like a banner or a flag or um, a huge sign um, uh, to direct the people, right? Like he's going to be there and we know he's going to be like a sign basically because he's going to be so bright, um, he's going to be so bright that it will be unnecessary to have a son. Not that there won't be a son, but that it will be unnecessary because Christ, all the light comes from Christ. He's so bright. Um, it says, who shall stand as a signal for the peoples of him shall the nations inquire. So meaning uh, he is the, the place where all the nations, the people who are um, outside of the new Jerusalem are going to come to, they're going to have pilgrimage to, they're going to walk to, they're going to go there and, and just have a wonderful time in the new Jerusalem. The gates will always be open. We know all these things from the book of Revelation, um, but yet it's a place where people will be attracted to, they will come to and um, th visit this place. It says, of him shall the nations inquire, and that word inquire means seek, with care or frequent so they're going to come in and frequent this area and it says and his resting place shall be glorious so the place where christ um will rest himself um, will be glorious why because he'd never had a resting place when he was here right he he was he he was a uh, he never had a home right so in this place he will have a home he will have rest he will have a settling remember there will be no temple they will be the temple christ the father um the holy spirit they in the, the new jerusalem they will be the temple there won't be a need for a temple anymore so it says, and his resting place shall be glorious. All right, let's keep going. Okay, Psalms 29, verse 8. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. So the voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness, meaning as the Lord speaks, um, the wilderness begins to quake, right? And we know the wilderness usually represents um, areas where where God is not or areas where there is dryness or areas where there is wandering or areas that where um, where the people are not in their proper position. So it's saying the voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. And so the conflation here is that from the inside going out, um, usually uh, you would think of wilderness being outer darkness, right? Not necessarily the rest of the world outside of the new Jerusalem, but the, the conflation here is the voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness, meaning the outer, outer reach areas, um, like as if outer darkness and the Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh because Kadesh is very far from the area of Jerusalem and Palestine and all of them. It's, it's on the 
outskirt borders of the opposite of where Jerusalem is, um, the other end of the desert. And so it is one of the places where the children of Israel did wander. And so um, it says the voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. And so it just represents an area without covering, an area without um, hope, an area that is dry, an area that is not um, of covering um, with atonement, basically, because the, if this is during the thousand year reign, if it's conflated with um, the previous scripture, um, if, if you'd like to think of it as being in the thousand year reign, you could think of the people who are outside of the um, covenant and those who are inside of the covenant, those who ha are perishing versus those who are covered, right? So it says that the voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. And in contrast to that, in that day, Isaiah chapter um, 11, verse 10, in that day, the root of Jesse, who will, who, who shall stand as a signal for the peoples of him shall the nations inquire and his resting place shall be glorious. So he, he, they're going to come to him. They're going to inquire of him. And as he speaks, he's going to cause the wilderness, the areas that are on the outskirts, the areas that are not covered, the areas that are, are, um, where the, where, where the people perish, um, are going to quake because of his speaking. Amen. Wow. That's, that's something. Um, there are so many mysteries, as I've said before, in the thousand year reign. Um, and I like to study the book of revelation because of that, just because it's not just because of that, but it's one of the more interesting things to look at. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Father God, for this conflation. Thank you for helping us to know that we want to be on the right side of this thing. We want to be on the inside of the new Jerusalem. We want to be in the nations that are protected, Lord God. We don't want to be in the outer darkness area unrecognized by you, Lord God. We want to be in a place of safety and not a place of quaking. Lord God, help us to be right by you, Lord Jesus. Help us to be able to tend to the the and frequent um, your new Jerusalem, frequent your temple, Lord God. We which is you, Lord. We love you. We praise you. We give you all glory and honor. Nobody deserves the glory but you, God. You are the holy of holies. You are the everything, Lord God. You are the great I am. And we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.